What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Leah, back with another video. Today, we are in Richmond, Virginia, about an hour away from my hometown. If you guys are old followers of mine, then you know that I attended Virginia Commonwealth University. I know pretty much about their real estate and all those good things. Today, we are going to be reviewing, I believe this is a condo. It is listed for $310,000. to two bed, two bath, just a little bit over a thousand square feet it is 1061 square feet to be exact it looks like there is commercial spaces underneath the property so you know depending on your 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 lifestyle that might be a plus for you so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the review but before i get started guys please remember that i am a north carolina south carolina virginia and georgia real estate professional and none of these comments are made with any ill intention towards any parties that are in relation to this transaction it is for entertainment purposes only and if you guys need help buying selling or investing in any of the states that i just mentioned don't hesitate to reach out to me i will be more than happy to help you if you're in washington state if you are in kansas if you are in kentucky it doesn't matter i don't care where you are if you guys need assistance i will still be able to help you have connections all over the united states so don't hesitate to reach out but without any further ado Let's go ahead and hop into this review. So I believe that this property does have an HOA. It is about $500, I think. I didn't read the listing. I usually don't read too much in depth to it because you know what I mean? Like I'm strictly here just to review what the property looks like, seeing what type of condition it is in. So keep in mind that I don't know the specifics, like all the, the exact specifics of the property or if there are any things that the listing agent put in the notes. Straight off the bat, it looks like it gives me, you know, northern, northern type of vibes. Like definitely looks like something that you would find in like the Baltimore, D.C. type of area. It definitely reminds me of that. When I attended Virginia Commonwealth University, they had a bunch of warehouses that were turned into lofts. And I've always really, really liked them. I don't know if this is going to be like a loft style. OK, so, yeah it's it, it's not necessarily like a loft style type of home but it does have the spiral staircase i do see those a lot in lofts i like the floor it probably was i don't feel like this is like you know has been renovated recently but i do really really like it i like the spiral staircase i have been on a couple of staircases like this and i personally don't really like them at least i don't like going up and down them i do like the way that they they look I just don't like actually using them. But I like the the floor, you know, I'm a fan of wood. I do see a little bit of carpet in there. I hope that it's not all throughout the house. But yeah, I do like the spiral staircase. I feel like they spiral staircases can be beneficial, especially if the space is tight. Like I said, this is only like about over a little bit over a thousand square feet. So, you know, you have to be smart as far as where you put different things that way that you can make the most use of the space. Okay, so this is the first bedroom that we're seeing. I absolutely hate the carpet. I wish that they would just go ahead and take that up and potentially put some some similar flooring like they had in the beginning, just that wood flooring. I feel like it would look so much better. I cannot stand carpet that looks like extra texturized and stuff. I just, I really just don't like it. It makes me feel like this the, the surface is just really hard and it's uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to get up and you know, put my bare feet on it. I would, you know, keep some slippers near me because the floor just, I just don't like carpet like that. I really don't like carpet in general, but the fact that it is, it reminds me of like a, like I said in the, in previous videos that I have reviewed or pr previous properties that I re I've reviewed, it reminds me of like a hard, like commercial space or like when you would go to the mall and they would have like carpeting throughout you know um the mall if you guys have i was stationed in sumter south carolina for about five years and their mall actually has carpet literally from one end of the mall to the next end and the carpet looks similar to this like it feels like it would probably feel the exact same as that one in sumter so <laughs> i do like that they have a window you know what i mean kind of letting in a little bit of natural lighting when you are living in condos or townhomes typically they don't have uh windows to the sides of them because there's other properties that are to the side of them so usually they will have them um, in the front and they'll have them in the back and then like you know there will be walls on to the side 
but it looks like they they try to you know they have some windows on this side i don't know which direction these windows are facing so i do like that they have some windows in the bedroom i mean in order for it to really qualify as a bedroom you you have to have windows so yeah the only thing that i dislike about this room is really just the carpet so you know you could easily take up carpet though you just don't know what material is under there and it doesn't look like it's a it's a bad size room either like i feel like you could kind of like do almost anything with it you just couldn't you know obviously do too much with this space right here where the closet is i think that this is nice like they have like a little sitting area in the room just in case you don't want to be on the bed um you could even put your bed on this wall and not on this wall but i guess like having those windows right there if you're going to have a bed with a headboard i can see why they put it on this this side of the room so i don't dislike that it's just the carpet it's literally just the carpet that i would like dock some points down I like the exposed piping. They're not as large as, you know, like most industrial style homes would be because this is giving me like an industrial style like vibe, especially with the spiral staircase. But I do still like this, you know, um, they probably just went in and painted those those pipes white. OK, so let's see the room. OK, so I'm assuming that this is the second floor. I, I'm not for sure, though, because it looks like the entrance, there's an entrance to the unit there but is that the same okay so i guess this is just across the hall then right let me see if i can yeah i think okay okay it's just across the hall it's just another bedroom across the hall so that means that potentially both bedrooms are on the same floor i don't know how i feel about that well i would expect for the bedrooms to be upstairs you know what i mean like i would think that they would put the, the bedrooms upstairs and the kitchen and the living space downstairs because me personally for just, i mean i'm not you know i wouldn't be too afraid to live in richmond or anything like that I, I wouldn't i don't feel like richmond is necessarily like a extremely dangerous city to live in i mean obviously every city has its you know crime rates and things like that but i would think that if the entrance of the house or the entrance of the condo is on you know a certain floor it would be on the floor that the kitchen in the living space would be on not necessarily where the bedroom would be at so i mean and then there's one of the bathrooms this looks like it may be a full bathroom but that might indicate that there might not be a be two full bathrooms it might just be two beds one full bathroom and then a half bath on the floor with the with the kitchen okay so this is one of the other rooms i don't dislike this room i they still have this this, this carpet i can't oh gosh, i cannot stand it they still have this carpet but yeah this is fine like i don't see anything wrong with it i like the piping still um they probably i probably would paint the i would probably would paint the walls a different color because it's just it's just a little bit dark it would kind of be like a gloomy feeling in there with all that gray and the gray carpet so yeah this is this is okay like it's it's not like bad or anything you know but i definitely would paint those are all things that you can, you know, change. I do like the tiling on the floor. I like that it's not the same as the tiling that's on the walls. I've seen properties where the tiling was literally the exact same all throughout the entire bathroom. Like, um, so, but this, this, this is kind of, this is better. This is better. And a property like this would definitely be almost, if not a million, definitely close to the two, the $2 million range in DC because like with, with in here in, in Richmond, it's not as it's not as expensive of a market but it is you know for some people it's a little bit still a little bit pricey especially for a condo with a 500 dollars hoa in dc this the the mortgage payment would be probably ridiculous on uh, a condo of this size bed and bath depending on the area in washington dc obviously remember that in real estate everything is location 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 i do like the the shower faucet I like the glass door. I love all of that. I like that they have a very, very uh, nice sized tub. So if you want to take a bath, you can. You can enjoy that space. You don't have to worry about getting probably shower curtains and stuff because there's a glass door there. So I think that this, this space is nice. You guys know that I do not like sinks like this. I do not like, I don't, I need, I need some type of cabinets in bathrooms. So especially in a 
full bath. In a full bath, I need some type of vanity, some type of place where I can put stuff at, you know what I mean? Especially if this is the only full bath, yeah, I need to be able to put like hair products or, you know what I mean, things that, you know, I don't necessarily need out all the time. Now, if you're a person that like, obviously you're gonna use those things on an everyday basis, you might put it inside the bathroom or inside the, the tub, but I just feel like that would just create clutter. You know, I just would want somewhere where I can store things at. You can obviously just get like some shelving, but still like I would prefer to have a cabinet and I don't necessarily like the mirror. You guys know if I'm going to be paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for a property, I want to be able to see all of me. <laughs> Okay, there's more pictures of the staircase. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. I love the floor. I like the space. Like, I like the living area. You don't have to, you know what I mean, worry about any type of, you don't have to really worry about artificial lighting because there, are, there is so much natural lighting. I thought that this property was one of the inside properties. I didn't think that this was a corner lot. So I'm assuming that it's this entire building right here, this entire building, because I believe that I caught a glimpse of that. It said that it was like an eight unit property. So I'm assuming that this is like a corner unit. So I do like that. I do really, really like that. There's so much natural lighting. I am definitely an advocate for natural lighting because you can just easily close up your blinds or close up your curtains and you don't have to worry about that. But if you want natural lighting, you have the option for it. With a condo, like sometimes that's really, really hard to come by, especially if it's like closed in by other properties. So this is really good that they have like all of that natural lighting that you can get. It definitely brightens up the space. I think that they should put the same type of colors downstairs because downstairs it looks it looks like it's downstairs. Like it looks like it should be in like a, like a basement type of thing. I like this light fixture right here too. They still got some piping going on. So, you know, I'm, I'm a fan. I like that. I really, really do like that. They have plenty of space. We haven't seen the kitchen yet though. So I'm, I'm kind of... I'm excited to see what the kitchen looks like, but I'm like, where is the kitchen gonna be? You know what I mean? I can only assume that it's over there where that dining area was at, but it may not be as big as we think. Okay, I like I like this wall. I like that they added a little bit of like depth into it with this dark, this darker wall. I can, I can get with that. I love all the piping, looks good. They got some greenery on the wall, got some paintings. I love that they put like carpet there. So it creates some texture in the, the the area. I like that this is like a not a non, it, it, it doesn't really look like a traditional type of uh, dining table. I like this. I really do like this. This wall, I do like that a lot. I love the cabinets. I'm a huge advocate for wooden cabinets. This kitchen is really, really beautiful actually. Like I really, really like this. I don't have anything negative to say about this kitchen at all. Like, I feel like there is a bunch of counter space you have pretty high ceilings and i mean it doesn't make it, the space doesn't feel small like i feel like similar to some of the properties that i reviewed before like some of them in dc you have to really think about how you're going to design these houses especially if they're going to if they're going to have a little bit of square footage like really anything like a thousand uh, square feet and under, that's not a very, very large space. So when you have, to, when you're designing it, it's like, okay, how can I make as much use out of these spaces or this space as possible and i think that they really did a good job with this so i'm i'm an advocate for this i love the backsplash i like the the appliance selection that they chose it everything looks really really comfortable i wouldn't be uncomfortable paying three hundred and ten thousand dollars for this property especially in richmond so i really really like this some people may be like hey like i don't, I don't think that that's worth it but that that might just mean that this property isn't necessarily for you but someone is going to jump on this i don't know how long it's been on the market but but I really do like the property a lot. I like this kitchen. Huge advocate for the brown cabinet. So yeah, this looks really good. This looks really, really good. I just don't like that both master bedrooms are on, or m both bedrooms are on the first floor. That's the only thing I do not like. Okay, and this is on the second floor, I believe. And then there is also, there's no cabinets for this bathroom either. I don't see any shower or tub spaces or any, this so it's a half bath like i assume so earlier i was saying that it's probably a one full bath and then a half bath and then it has two full bathrooms i mean two full what did i say 
<laughs> earlier i was saying that it's two beds and one full bathroom and then one half bath so i was i was right about that assumption so that tells me that when this person who the developer was or the builder was when they build this they probably were like okay so this is going to be like a young professional that would probably live in this property they might have someone that comes over and visits every now and again so Potentially we could use it for another bedroom or they could use it for an office space. They could even use it as like a second, a second living area because that first living area is upstairs. So I, it really just depends, but I don't, I do not see a family living here, especially if it is a family of three, but as they continue to grow, they probably wouldn't stay in this property too long. I don't dislike it though. I do think that this is really, really nice. If I was to rate this home out of 10, I would give it probably like a, like a 7.5 or eight. This property really isn't that bad. It's literally just the two bedroom being on the bottom floor. I don't necessarily like the, the sinks in the bathrooms i don't like that but other than that i really don't feel like those are like you know what i mean i wouldn't say that those are deal breakers because you can easily change out the sinks obviously you wouldn't necessarily be able to change out the bedrooms like that because i mean it's, it just wouldn't be worth it to move the kitchen that beautiful kitchen downstairs like it just it's not worth it like that wouldn't even be like a consideration really like some people might value that you know um so yeah i i like this property i think that it's cool so yeah i would give it a 7.5 out of out of 10. i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up so guys that is the end of this review uh located in richmond virginia close to my hometown i really appreciate each and every single one of you that tuned into the video you guys are so so appreciated i wish that i could thank you guys enough but there's no way that I, I would ever be able to show my appreciation in the way that you guys have supported me. So thank you guys again. Make sure to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I will be posting more content throughout the next couple of days. So I hope to see you each there. If you guys need any assistance buying, selling, or investing in real estate, like I said, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.